right. We are putting some questions to rest this morning. In this morning's Money Watch, are women better leaders than men? Well, new research shows that on average, women score higher in leadership qualities in the workplace than men do. You're doing a fantastic job leading this show, by the way, <laughs> just so you know. Joining us from Salt Lake City is Jack Zanger, co-author of this study. And here in New York is Jenna Goudreau, reporter for Forbes Women. Good morning to morning, both guys. of you. Good morning. Jack, let's start with you. How much higher did women score? Well, these differences were not gargantuan differences, but on a five-point scale, they were often, you know, a half a point above. So on a percentile ranking, they were often as much as 10 percentile points higher than their male counterparts. Did those numbers surprise you? Well, frankly, they did. You would think they would be more random and more equally balanced. But so we were we were kind of surprised at these results. You know, one of the things in Jack's research that's also surprising, given these results, Jenna, is that 64 percent of the leadership roles held within corporations are held by men as opposed to women, even though women are scoring higher on a test like this. Why do you think that is? You know, the higher you move up in the rungs of leadership, the fewer women you see. And, and I think that's partly why we're seeing them score higher here is the women who do make it are the exceptional women. Um, one of the things that we see is there are equal numbers of men and women in middle management, but men are more likely to be promoted on potential and women are more likely to be promoted on performance. So they already have to work a little harder and be a little better and have it show in the results in order to get into these positions. Jack, is this a trend that's increasing from what you've seen? It does appear that the higher you move in an organization, the, only about 15% of women find themselves in those senior leadership positions. It's also a second thing happens in organizations, and that is that certain functional areas have been somewhat male bastions, of sales and finance and legal and product development and engineering. Uh, and so we do see big disparities between the number of women in leadership positions in those areas. And yet it has changed a little bit over time, Jenna, hasn't it? That, that our view of what makes a good leader, our view of why women are good leaders has changed. Absolutely. I think there's more emphasis on soft skills now. And women do have some advantages, whether natural or whether the way they were socialized in terms of people skills, in terms of uh, communication skills. And that is becoming very important today in terms of managing a team and getting people to rally behind your ideas. And read nothing into the fact that I only ask Jack questions and Rebecca only asked Jack, <laughs> Jack questions. Jack Zanger and Jenna Gaudreau, thank you guys very much for joining us here this morning. Thank you so much.